I'm surprised you picked up, girl. I did not think you was gonna pick up my call. Well, listen, sit on down. We got some things to talk about because I wanna put you in your place really quickly. I really do. I was gonna come on here. I was gonna call you while I was upset, but then I didn't wanna give you the satisfaction of seeing me and labeling me and seeing me through your eyes and how I think you look at people now, just being honest, as angry black man, I didn't wanna give you that. So here we are, let me give you what you need to hear because this is ridiculous and I think I'm more shocked and I'm more like damn because I actually liked you and I actually wanted to I actually want to give you a chance to grow and I always want to know why black people didn't like you because all my friends around me would always be like well you know what no I don't see it for her and I'm like why what's wrong what's wrong with Miss Mila I thought that you know here I am liking the music, liking your image, liking your performance ethic. I was like, yeah, she can perform, she can sing. She's the one the damn thing. So wow, we're here. However, now I see why my friends didn't like you. Because I will also have a group of friends that say, and they're not all black, that will say, oh wow, I like her, but she just seems disingenuine. Something about her just doesn't click. I don't relate to her. I don't feel like nothing she does is real. And I said, well, but, you know, are you getting into the music? Are you getting into the live performances? Are you getting into this? But it's like, yeah, they have a point, though. Because now here we are. What was done in the dark will always come to the light. You know, I want to address the first thing. You know, you came out. The apology, I want to, I want to say this first, that the apology that you released was BS. I'm just being honest. I think the apology released was not enough. I think the apology released was like, girl, goodbye. And you know, I also just made a video about Lizzo saying that cancel culture always wants to cancel someone so quickly over things that are like minor and things like that. But here we are. Here's a perfect example of, well, this is something that needs to be talked about. Because this is a girl that has millions of followers. And I mean millions. Millions of streams, millions of monthly streams on her uh, music. So this girl is wildly popular, right? It's gonna be hard to cancel Camila. You know, I don't see that happening, unfortunately. But I will say this. Oh girl, I don't think I would review reviewing your music no time on my channel anytime soon. I just can't. I don't think that, because I'm proudly black. I'm human first, and then I'm black. You know what I'm saying? So. I just, I can't, I can't support you. I wanna bring a highlight before I dig into what you did on Tumblr. I wanna dig into the fact that your album sales and the tour isn't doing that well. And I wanna talk to the, to, to the Camila fans, cause I know y'all gonna come flock here first and try to thumbs down this video and be like, well we need to forgive her and da 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 da. And are you my skin tone saying that? Okay, so before you come up in here and, and comment below, oh my god, we need to we need to forgive her. It's just not big of a deal. She was 15. Stop it. Cut it out. Let that go. I'm sorry. No. No, 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 no. We're, want, we're not going to do that. We keep it really real on this channel, and we're going to continue to do that. I don't care how big I get and how close I get to these celebrities. You will not. I do, I do not care. Oh, not morally. I'm sorry, no. And I'm all about giving people chances and understanding their point of views and thanks to my best friend, help me to understand perspectives. But I, this, this is not, this isn't cute, Camila. This right here isn't it. So like I said, before I dig into what you did on Tumblr, I wanna talk about the album sales. 50 to 70K projected first week. Meanwhile, Harry Styles should be should be beating her. Um, I want to know, Camila fans, why are you not buying the music? Is it because romance is repetitive? Is it because oh yes, after listening to it, after after I reviewed it, listening to it more, I only go back to about one or two songs, and the rest of it, I'm like, eh, okay. But it's not a bad album. I don't think it's terrible. Just because she did this, I'm not gonna flip my switch and say it was a terrible album. But like, why are you not buying it? Why her solo? Why did her debut album? outperform this one by what 50k also the fact that they put so much push behind this girl so much promotion she's been on every radio show every tv show any commercial anything she could be on to push this album she has been on it so what's the problem 
Hmm. Some can say it's the music. I think it's the universe. Me being personal. I think that karma came back and said, oh, hey, girly, let's talk. Because you think that your boo-boo don't stink. So here we go. Beyond that, I want to apologize to Normani, too. I do. I really, really, really do. And let me tell you why. Because I'm a big supporter of Normani. That's one of my girls in my mind. And I didn't know, and I'm happy I educated myself before I made this Skype call to you. Your fans have always had an opinion on Miss Normani and calling her the N-word and calling her black monkey and things of that, of that nature because she's a dark-skinned girl like me. I'm not a girl, but you know what I mean. Um, and you didn't say anything. You didn't, I looked around, I tried to, I looked up, to, tried to find tweets and Google Smoogle, and you haven't said anything. You didn't correct your fans, you didn't say, hey girl, hey fans, hey Camilers, Leela Laylers, y'all need to not call Normani this, or let me, don't do my bandmate like that. Which leads me to believe, what were you saying behind the scenes? Just being honest. You were 15, let's talk about that. Miss Girl said, I was 15 when this all went down. When I was 15, I had to learn what a white man was. When I was 15, I had to respect and learn my Latino and Latina brother and sisters and respect their space and, and learn that we all had to be together in this one school, this one block, this one neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn that. I had to learn about my Muslim brothers and sisters. I had to learn about them. I had to learn about my Jewish brothers and sisters, my Asian brothers and sisters. I had to learn their culture and understand what not to say and what to say. Because when I was 15, I was not oblivious and I wasn't directly trying to disrespect someone else's culture. That's just not who I am as a person. 25 and 15 years old. Nowhere in the middle was I like, oh my God, F these group of people, F these group of people, or make ethnic jokes about these groups of people. That makes no sense to me. So when you say, oh, well, I was 15, and, and I do believe people can grow. I absolutely, I believe people can grow. They can grow from their mistakes and understand where they went wrong. But do I believe you were ignorant at that time? I don't think you were ignorant i think you knew it was wrong you know what i mean i'm sure you knew it was wrong but that didn't stop you did it because here we are now you're 22 as you so say i'm 22 now and you know girl that was so long i was 15. are you serious now we're 22 and now here you are at the one of the peaks of your career and this is now in your face i want to know how you're going to handle this camila another apology, another video situation, you go sit down in front of the, um, your Instagram maybe and shed a tear or two about how you're so sorry or how this is just blown out of control? Or are you gonna ignore it, commit to, to continue to go on this tour, and you, I don't know, sign the Black Lives Matter petition? I don't know. But to say that you were just 15 and it was, it was old and it's nothing, it's seven years ago. I understand that, trust me, I do. When I was 15, I said stupid stuff, but I never said anything to affect a group of people. Back in the day, I made skits, I made um, funny videos and stuff like that, so I may have wrote a joke about someone or something like that, but I've never called anyone a derogatory name within their culture, AKA using the N word or calling my Latino and Latinas something else and calling, uh, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna call those words that clearly cause a trigger to someone. You know what I'm saying? Do I think you're how you were when you were 15? Do I think you're like that as we speak? I don't know. I do not know. I couldn't tell you. I don't think that you hate anyone. At least my heart doesn't want to believe that. I don't think you hate anyone. I don't think you hate a group of people. So what happens here? What do we do now? That's what I want to talk about. I want to know what do we do now, Camila? What happens from here? Like I said, I cannot, no, I can no longer support you. 
I, that does, I don't care. You can have the most wonderful career and I wish you well. However, if you really want to come and switch this whole narrative about you around, you need to come out, out of hiding. You need to sit on down. Either make that video I said on Instagram where you shed a tear or sign a petition to be Black Lives Matter, honey. Listen. And you need to really speak on the racial ignorance that is on this country. Racial things are not something you're born with. It's something that's taught. So, I don't know what's going on in your household or what, 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 what went on in your household back in the day, but this is not how we get down. Now you're an international pop star. Now what? Now what? This is not the first time I've heard this about you. That's what really sticks with me, Camila. I, this is not the first time. And I'm mad that it was going on years ago, but we all let it go. We swept under the rug. And we like, oh, she sings Havana and she had Young Thug on there. So clearly she can't be too racial, you know? That's not a thing. But Young Thug is Young Thug, so it was smart for her to have him on the song, obviously. And it was a hip hop influenced track, so there you go. Of course she's not gonna be openly out here like that because she needs the black dollar still. Why not? You know what I'm saying? I think it's just, it's a bummer when a girl that could be and has already stepped her foot in being so, so influential to so many young girls around the world and now they see you in this light. And now they see what you think, how you how you thought in the past and how maybe you still think. This is not, this is not something you sweep under the rug. This is way bigger than Lizzo's behind a couple weeks ago. Just being honest. And I think that people in the music industry are gonna look at you differently. All the black artists are gonna look at you differently as they should, as they should in my opinion, I think they should pull up exactly what you said I just want to make sure I'm not tripping baby said when I was younger I used language that I'm deeply ashamed of and will regret forever I was uneducated and ignorant and once I became aware of the history and the weight and the true meaning behind those horrible and hurtful language I was deeply embarrassed I ever used it at 15 so was your parents using it around you at 15 hmm are you trying to say that they didn't teach you anything about racial situations? Which is very possible. Very possible in people's households. Let's not act like that's not a thing. That is very possible that people do not get taught how to treat other races and how to be respectful to other people's cultures because as a black man, we had to learn that immediately because of the target on the back of my back as soon as I, as soon as I was born. So that's just that. So maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here, girl. Hold on. But even then, it's just like, shame on your parents, shame on you, and shame on anyone around you that didn't even think to teach you that until you got a major record label, until you got a major deal, that's when you got smart? Is that what happened? Until you, feel, until you realize, oh, I need them to buy this. Let me act right, let me get it together. Hmm. I wish you well. I really do. I don't wish any bad to you. I don't wish any harm. I don't wish anything negative on you. I really do wish you get this together and I hope your heart is pure and I hope your heart and your soul gets cleansed from all of this. I hope that you're not too overwhelmed by all of this to the point where you feel as though you're a victim because that's not the case. You're not the victim here and I want to make that very clear. I do. I want to make that very clear to you that you're not the victim. So please do not come out here and when you do come back and you're not a victim. You're not. 15, 22, don't matter. You're not a victim. At 15, you are very knowledgeable of what goes on. Very knowledgeable. And when you make a mistake like this, if it is a mistake, I'm just giving you a bit of the doubt. When you make a mistake like this and it comes back to the surface, you don't say, I was 15 and, oh my God, I can't believe I said that. No, 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 no. Yeah, you say, I said that. Can't believe, I'm so sorry that I said that. But that's not how I look at things now. That's not how I operate now. Oh God, no, absolutely not. And you come on with a text. Oh no, 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 you come on somebody's camera. Just like how you went around and promoted that album and you was on everybody's TV screen and everybody's radio station, same thing. 
All right, well, let me go around and clean this up because this is not who I am as a person. If that's really the truth, then let's go ahead and put this back in behind it and clean this on up. If not, if you try to skate on around it or move on past it, if you're going to try to skate past it and act like it didn't happen or try to give just a little bit more attention to it and then kind of swoop it all away, then you're going to lose a whole demographic, demographic of people that really didn't really care in the first place. But, <laughs> hey, because it wasn't just black people, it was Asians too. Just saying, you know, so that's that. Um, but Camila, I wish you well. I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to go eat and enjoy my Chipotle. And um, I do wish you well. And I hope that this, I do wish that the ignorance and the hatred that you did have in your heart back then, it's gone. And I do hope that you look at things from a different perspective now and you are a better human because that's what we all need to be, you know? So hopefully that's the case. Um, but I don't think from this point on, I can support you at least until you make everything clear. And even then, I don't know, it's a lot to digest, just being honest. But hope everything works in your favor, girl. Hope your tour does well and those album sales get up. Y'all need to go buy that girl album if y'all want to. Mm.